China has just shattered expectations. Against every prediction, SM ICE, the Chinese chipmaker once choked by sweeping U.S. sanctions, has unveiled a working 2 nanometer chip. Not a concept, not a theory, a real functioning prototype. And they're not stopping there. SMIC is already gearing up for mass production. This moment isn't just surprising, it's disruptive. It could alter the balance of global tech power as we know it. And now, the question hangs in the air. Has the U.S. already fallen behind for good? What's truly jaw-dropping is the timing. Only months after being cut off from EUV lithography, the most advanced chip manufacturing technology in existence, SMIC has done what most thought was impossible. No one saw it coming. The announcement, made at a major tech conference, sent shockwaves through the industry. Silence followed from the U.S., a silence that speaks volumes. Taiwan, home to TSMC and long the king of advanced chip fabrication, is suddenly under pressure. Their lead has narrowed fast. The tech world is in full-blown panic mode. Everyone wants to know, how did SMIC achieve this under such heavy restrictions? To understand what's at stake, you have to understand the power of a 2 nanometer chip. In chip making, every nanometer counts, literally. Transistors, the tiny switches that carry out calculations, are measured in nanometers. Shrinking them means you can pack more onto a chip, leading to faster processing, lower power consumption, and massive gains in AI, data analysis, and everything digital. 2 nanometers is bleeding edge territory. It's not just progress, it's revolution. For scale, a human hair is about 80,000 nanometers thick. Now imagine cramming an entire city's worth of computing power into something smaller than a grain of sand. And now SMIC has joined, maybe even surpassed the elite. For comparison, Apple's latest M3 chips, used in iPhones and MacBooks, run on a 3 nanometer process. That's already world class, and it's why those devices are so fast and efficient. TSMC, Apple's chipmaker, is developing 2 nanometer tech too, but they're not mass producing it yet. SMIC, without fanfare or access to cutting edge tools, just got there first. This isn't catch up, it's a leap ahead. Meanwhile, the US, once the undisputed semiconductor superpower, is lagging. Intel, one of the country's biggest chip makers, is still rolling out 7 nanometer products with some 3 nanometer chips in sight. But China's already breaching two. The race is no longer neck and neck, it's slipping away. Think of it this way. While the US is tuning up a high performance race car, China is quietly launching a spacecraft. And this technological leap doesn't just mean faster phones or laptops. It means domination in AI. These chips are the foundation for next generation artificial intelligence. Systems that will define future breakthroughs in defense, medicine, logistics, even national security. The country that controls this tech controls the future. And right now, China has a serious edge. But here's the real twist. SMIC pulled this off without EUV machines. That's like painting the Mona Lisa without a brush. EUV, extreme ultraviolet lithography, is used by companies like TSMC and Samsung to print impossibly small circuits onto silicon wafers. The only company that makes these $150 million machines is ASML in the Netherlands, and U.S. export controls have locked SMIC out. Conventional wisdom said, without EUV, a 2 nanometer chip is impossible. SMIC clearly didn't agree. Instead, they may have used deep ultraviolet lithography, DUV, an older, less precise tool. But they didn't stop there. With a method called multi-patterning, they likely layered multiple exposures to simulate the same ultra-fine detail EUV offers. It's harder, slower, and more error-prone, like carving a statue with a spoon instead of a scalpel, but it works. And if SM Mike has mastered this, they've redefined what's possible. They've proven that success isn't about having the latest tools, it's about knowing how to use what you've got, to the limit and beyond. But SM Mike didn't do it alone. Enter Huawei. Also sanctioned, also cornered, and just as desperate to escape Western tech dependence. Rumors swirling in tech circles suggest a silent alliance between the two companies. Behind closed doors, SMIC and Huawei may have pooled resources, R&D, funding, manufacturing know-how all under the radar. Think of it as two stranded climbers roped together, pulling each other to the summit. And this isn't just about one chip. China has been laying the groundwork for this moment for years. Quietly, methodically, they've built domestic supply chains, materials, wafers, chemicals, tools, all homegrown. No more relying on imports. No more begging for permission. They've created their own semiconductor ecosystem brick by brick. Now they can build without interference. A country once reliant on Western tech now controls its own destiny. When you add it all up, the picture is staggering. SMIC, under sanctions without EUV, has produced a working 2 nanometer chip. They're preparing for mass production. They may have the backing of Huawei. They've used older tools in brilliant new ways. They've leaned on a domestic supply chain decades in the making. And they've done all of this while the rest of the world watched, doubted, 
and assumed they'd already lost. This isn't just a comeback, it's a warning shot. The future of global tech leadership is being rewritten. They've done the unthinkable. With no access to the world's most advanced tools, no help from Western suppliers, and the full weight of US sanctions pressing down on them, China has pulled off a technological miracle. Not by breaking the rules, but by rewriting them. They've taken aging machinery, outmoded tools, and repurposed them with razor-sharp precision. They've forged a new path, one rooted in autonomy, fueled by desperation, and driven by the kind of resolve only true isolation can create. And now they've detonated the biggest shockwave yet, two nanometer chips. Not in theory, not in blueprints, but in silicon. This isn't just a scientific leap. It's a shot fired straight into the heart of the Western tech order. For decades, the US held the keys to the digital world. Now those keys are slipping fast. China didn't just build a chip. It built a supply chain entirely immune to Western influence. A closed loop, a system designed to thrive under siege. Huawei, once crippled, is clawing its way back using deep ultraviolet DUV lithography techniques that everyone said weren't good enough. But somehow they made them work. And SMIC, the state-backed foundry, is no longer a footnote in semiconductor history. It's rewriting the ending. Meanwhile in Washington, silence. No outrage, no emergency briefings, not even denial. Just a hollow stunned quiet, as if the air's been sucked out of the room. Because this wasn't supposed to happen. Every measure, sanctions, blacklists, trade wars, diplomatic pressure, was designed to make this impossible. And yet here it is. A brutal reminder that when you corner a nation like China, it doesn't collapse. It adapts, but don't be fooled. That silence isn't surrender. It's the sound of knives being sharpened behind closed doors. New sanctions are coming, more pressure, possibly sweeping crackdowns targeting every last note of China's domestic chip network. Because this breakthrough threatens to render the West's entire strategy a spectacular failure, a paper tiger torn apart by reality. And as America recalibrates, the giants tremble. NVIDIA, the king of AI chips, is staring down a future where its dominance isn't just challenged, it's erased. What happens when China starts mass producing its own AI processors at 2 nanometers? Faster, cheaper, unrestricted by geopolitical baggage. Suddenly, NVIDIA isn't the only game in town, it's fighting for survival. Intel, already years behind, could become irrelevant almost overnight, still wrestling with 7 and Nemer while SMIC guns for 2 in. In markets less poisoned by politics, where performance and price win over allegiances, Intel could be sidelined completely. And Qualcomm? It depends heavily on Taiwan's TSMC. But if SMIC's chips rival or outperform them, that dependency becomes a vulnerability. Qualcomm's hold on the global mobile market could disintegrate. This isn't just competition anymore. It's an existential threat. And all eyes shift to Taiwan, the heart of the global semiconductor ecosystem. TSMC, long the gold standard in chip manufacturing, has been the West's unshakable cornerstone. But SMIC's leap forward threatens to crack that foundation. If China can mass-produce 2 in meter chips, the gravity shifts. Taiwan's economic stability, its geopolitical leverage, even its national security, all begin to wobble. And with pressure mounting from both sides, Washington imposing penalties, Beijing demanding loyalty, TSMC finds itself caught in a geopolitical vice. It's a perfect storm, and Taiwan's grip on global tech supremacy has never looked more fragile. But this isn't just about chips. This is about the future. Chips power everything, AI, defense, communications, industry. Whoever controls chips controls the modern world. And if China becomes fully self-sufficient, the US loses its greatest lever of influence. Suddenly, nations once reliant on American tech start looking east. China becomes the new supplier, cheaper, faster, sanction-proof. The global order shifts, the map redraws itself, and the US? Left staring at a future it no longer owns. So the question becomes, can SMIC actually scale this? Making one prototype is like building a prototype car. It proves it can be done. But mass producing millions of flawless chips? That's a whole different battlefield. Yield issues are already surfacing. SMIC is pushing DUV technology beyond its breaking point. No EUV. Just raw ingenuity, multi-patterning and grit. It's expensive. It's slow. But it's working. And they're not alone. They have the full might of the Chinese government behind them. Unlimited funding. Unlimited patience. A national mission to break free of Western tech domination. And with Huawei pouring billions into R&D, the clock is ticking faster than anyone in the West wants to admit. Maybe 2026. That's the window. Mass production is coming. And when it hits, it won't just disrupt, it will overwhelm. With 2 nanometer tech, SMIC has what it needs to power the next generation of AI. Faster learning. Smarter models. Lower costs. Suddenly the AI arms race doesn't look like a one-horse race anymore. The West won't be leading, it'll be chasing. SMIC and Huawei are no longer underdog. 
They're contenders. And if they perfect this, if they scale it, then everything changes. Not just who makes the chips, but who controls the future. The countdown has already started, and the world is